and welcome to Awake Ones. I'm Alexandra Wenman. I'm Lorraine Flaherty. And I'm Krisha Newman. Yes, and today we're going to be talking to our lovely guest Krisha about about turns. So Krisha, can you share with us a little bit about this topic and how it has affected you on your journey thus far? Well, I've realised actually, Alexandra, that I've gone through life literally making about turns all the time but not really being that conscious and aware of what I was actually doing um, but most recently I found myself in a position where I'd given up my day job because I wanted to sort of concentrate more on my healing work and uh, and all I was getting, I, I joined this company because I thought, oh, I'll get a little bit of extra money um, selling this vegan skincare. And I thought, oh, I'm not very good at selling, don't really want to do this. But something was making me, you know, the money side, so thinking, okay, I'll get out my job, I better do this. And then somebody asked me to give them a facial. I'm thinking, I really don't want to do this. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm kind of felt like I was selling my soul a bit right. it's like I qualified as a holistic therapist 21 years ago I then went on and I, I really got into the energy side the Reiki or theta healing channeling um and I thought this person's just asked me for a facial really <laughs> <laughs> so so anyway came along on the couch got all my lovely stuff out my skincare range and went to start a cleanser, cloth on the face, take a deep breath in, nurturing, lovely. Here, crystal wand. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, okay, 20 odd years ago, when mm -hmm. I qualified as an aromatherapist, I heard crystals. And that was before I even knew about hot stones or anything. So I, I just put this smooth crystal palm yeah. in my hands and used to just massage into people right. and also in wands on the um, acupressure points down the spine and I hadn't touched it for years and years and years and I thought oh I've got that crystal <laughs> wand in my my cabinet got up got the <laughs> wand started working and they felt as though they they thought I had an electric sort of Dubri machine. Current, yeah. that's wow. the way, not Dubri. <laughs> we know what they mean. We know what Dubri machine what I, yeah. means. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I know I, I, was, I was getting that they needed Reiki. So I thought, okay. And so I said, look, obviously you need permission. I said, look, I'm channeling here. Are you open? Yes. Great. So quickly pop the mask on their face gave them some Reiki, got more information about what they needed. And uh, so when when I finished the session, they said, oh, that was incredible. Well, you know, really want to come back and have some more. And it's just literally snowballed from that moment. Right. So from kind of saying, I really don't want to be doing yeah. this. What, yeah. why, why, am I, why am I going back to yeah. doing something that I just never even thought that I would do facials mm. but now it's not just a facial it's right spirit guided mm. and wow. it's, I like a whole never, new, it's a whole new thing yeah I never know what's going to happen it's a ever. whole body treatment inside it's a whole treatment well, inside and out right that's right and, and what I thought it's actually soul to skin mm. and skin to soul healing because what I'm finding is that women that are coming, and some men, mm. um, are coming to have a facial. Right. And then I, they ask for this bespoke healing facial. Right. I then sit them down and explain, mm. okay, I never know what's going to happen. Um, I might ask, be asked to, to give them theta healing, Reiki healing, EFT. Mm. Right. So I'm working oh, on the acupressure, tapping on the tapping while they're having the whilst mm. they're having the facial, and I'm channeling, okay, wow. and channeling words. Um, so they feel they they feel comfortable, yeah, 
knowing that they're coming for a facial because they know what to expect with a facial. So already they feel safe. Yeah. They feel nurtured because it's a really nurturing experience as well. So then they go into this deep state of meditation and I hope my daughter doesn't mind if she does. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, ordinarily, she's a teenager. If I said, oh, you know, I want to do some Theta or some Reiki, she's like, mm, okay, maybe not. Um, it, we, we, you love the fairies and all of that, mum, hey. Not quite there at the moment. But on the couch, yes, I want a facial. So I said, oh, well, if I channel something, how about that? Yeah. She went into the most amazing meditation. Yeah. And she saw this beautiful, deep blue butterfly. And she said it was emitting this ice blue light from it. And I thought, I think that's an angel. Mm. It sounded really, really angelic. But she said it was, you know, to yeah. her, she, mm. she saw a butterfly. She said the wings were beautiful, Mum. And then as she came out of that, she said there was the, the most incredible stag mm. standing in front of me wow. with the, yeah. the amazing antlers. And I was like, that's all about transformation and power and safety mm. and coming into her own. So she actually said, that was amazing, Mum. Thank you. Now, ordinarily, she wouldn't have jumped up on the couch. Yeah, mm. amazing. But yeah. because it was a facial and I was using crystals and, you know, sometimes she, it's just yeah. pure crystal healing. It's a safe space. It's a it? safe space. And it's a familiar term as well, yeah, like holistic, a holistic facial yes. or holistic facial and, and treatment. It, it, you know, puts people at yeah. ease and then you just don't know these days what's going to come through. Yeah anyway do you so it's like with the people that need healing will come and then they get to feel good and look good too at absolutely the end of it. because Love you know the, the skin care range i had to be very careful yeah. because i think if you're channeling as well and healing you don't want to put any rubbish on them mm. right. so you know it's vegan cruelty free mm. so i had to be really careful and that's why i found the range first yeah mm. yeah thinking what am I doing what am I doing and I just I didn't block it yeah. I just went with it yeah. um, thinking there has to be a reason mm. why I'm going down this road show me mm. and yeah. then literally it happened and it's hand in hand with the um, but the, the wonderful thing about it is I never know what's going to happen mm. never um, and that's what I tell my clients. Yeah. You know, this could happen, or maybe nothing will happen. Yeah, you know? <laughs> maybe it's true. Nice facial and nice energy healing. Um, and if somebody thinks they're coming along and, and they're going to hear a message, you know, that, oh, I'm going to meet a dark, handsome stranger, you know, yeah, you it's, probably, not that sort of, it's not yeah. that sort of healing. There's a heck of a lot more um, fun and relaxing than just sitting across the table having your cards read, though, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'll have some creams and some crystals and some Reiki yes. and a bit of a message. But it's, it's so efficient as well because yeah. I never, I very rarely take time out to actually do those pampering things. I'm not really a, a, a pampering person, but when I, am. I she is. <laughs> but whenever I do have a facial or if I ever do allow myself to, to have a treatment, it always feels so amazing. Mm. But to actually be able to incorporate two into one, oh my Absolutely. god, that sounds genius. Yeah. 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 How amazing that you're actually taking care of your face, you're taking care of your skin, but you're then taking care of the inside stuff that's going on as well. Yeah, yeah, and that's why I say I it. It's, it is skin to soul, yeah. and soul to skin, healing. It's so um, amazing, and it's so, it so shows, like I always say, everything you've done, up, everything you, you're doing, even if you feel like you shouldn't be doing it, or even yeah. if you've done jobs or you've had careers that maybe didn't fit with where you are now yeah. they've all been stepping stones bringing Absolutely. you to where yeah. you need to be yes. and you're drawing from all those skills so it's yes. like gosh you've got your whole toolkit now yeah. and of course you've built an entire spiritual community here in Cambridge where obviously yes. in where you're based with the Inspiral group with the Inspiral group yeah, yeah. And so that, that was another about turn 
Um, I mean, the Inspiral Group was actually set up by hypnotherapist Joseph Clough and uh, Caroline Griffiths. And I used to go along on the odd occasion. Uh, it was just speakers would come along, you'd sit for two, two and a half hours, listen and then go home. And then it was about September 2015. I went along with Matt, my husband, and uh, Caroline came up and said, oh, I need to have a word with you. I, I didn't really know Caroline. And I thought, mm, well, what, what have I done? done? <laughs> She's going to tell me off for something. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Did she see me sleeping at the back or something? <laughs> It's really boring, sorry. <laughs> um, and uh, she said she was off to Cyprus and she was giving up the group. Right. And that my name had come to her to take it over. Initial reaction, no. <laughs> no way. Um, Who do you think I am? <laughs> yeah, and I, I just said, absolutely no way. I said, I couldn't get up and speak in front of people. I don't want to, sorry. Um, and just confidence... I was not confident enough. Just um, like how you can't channel, hey, Chrisha, in front of a group. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Can't or won't. Don't watch it, channeling. Mm. And uh, so. We have anyway. ways of making the talk. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, uh, Matt, my husband, was going, What's that about? And I said, She wants me to take the group. Well, I said, I can't do that. And he was like, well, you know, I can help you. I said, really? What, what, what could you do? And he went, I'll do the car park. <laughs> <laughs> you good know, one, Matt. Right? <laughs> Got a good man to support her there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I was like, well, I'll think about it. And my thinking about it was just, no, All right. I'm not doing this. But uh, the speaker that was coming the following month happened to be there. He was just checking out the venue. And he said, oh, I hear you're going to be introducing me when I come. <laughs> and I was like, am I? No, I don't think so. And he was like, why did you say no? And I was like, well, because I haven't said yes. Uh, um, and he, he kind of did this technique. And it was like, take yourself back in this cone. And it, it literally was speeded up that you didn't even have time to think about it. It was fantastic. His name was Y. Wai Chung, wonderful man. And so I sat down at the back of the room where I always sat and I literally, they asked a question and I put my hand up and it was like, <laughs> what am I doing? I'm, I'm putting my hand up to yeah. answer this question. I sit at the back of the room, I'm quiet. Little spirit guide there I going. Don't, <laughs> yes, I don't. <laughs> You know, I don't really bring attention to myself. Look, get down, get down. <laughs> and um, and then he came up and he said, how are you feeling now? <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'll give it a go. <laughs> and I did, and the following month, I actually got up and I introduced him. Um, and it's kind of, yeah. it's not, I don't find it easy. But you're so natural no, at it. I don't, I don't find it easy. Yes, well, I mean, and that. that's actually how we met, wasn't it? It is. That's how yeah. we met. Because you, yes. you, you called me and invite me, invited me to come up and do a talk, which yeah. was lovely. Yeah. And uh, an, an amazing group of people. Mm -hmm. And it's say. always spirit guided as well. I always, yeah. Always just ask, okay, find me a speaker. Mm. Yeah. Who do I need? Who does the group need? Mm. Um, what do we need to learn? And I literally open up yeah. the internet and up you popped going hi you need me yeah. and then obviously you need this one as well and then i don't need this one too <laughs> obviously i had to come along for the ride <laughs> <laughs> my mirror my <laughs> winman newman winman newman yeah. what <laughs> i know i should be in the middle really it should be a winman newman sandwich, sandwich. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh my God, the three of us. That yeah, we probably are, I have to point out that we probably are a little bit delirious because I was doing a channeling <laughs> yes. workshop, hence the, the channeling dig, she was doing a channeling workshop to date, which was amazing. And I think everybody was a bit blown away by what happened because all of these people that had never channeled before and, and thought they couldn't possibly channel, including Krisha, who was very reluctant, suddenly 
they're all up it's channeling. All these really yeah. amazing, really beautiful messages. Yeah. And that's very, the very thing different. with channeling to a group. Yeah. I'm fine on a one to one. Yeah. And I feel safe on a one to one. And I trust that, yeah. you know, whatever that person gets is for their highest and greatest good. But actually feeling that I'm on the spotlight mm -hmm. and oh they're expecting a message. Yeah. So today was another so, about turn, wasn't it? It was. It was another one because you said that you wouldn't do it and you were never going to do it, and then she did, and yeah. she was amazing. She, she was did a really, amazing. really fabulous. And how did you feel after it, though? That's the important thing. I can't actually remember what what was channeled. Mm. I couldn't tell you. No. Yeah. Um, but I, I felt really emotional, mm. and just this sort of it was. It felt as though I'd just stuck my finger in a plug. Yeah. And this surge of energy sort of coming up through my body and all the way up um, felt incredible. Yeah. It, it really, mm. really did. Um, and very emotional at the end. Mm. And that's kind of when I came out of it. Yeah, yeah. such um, a beautiful message. I wish I'd recorded you all. It was I so I beautiful. Said. It was a lot. Most of the messages were just really. It was kind of like, if I had to give it a theme, it was like the purity of love. Yeah. Or it was just about, about love. pure love. Yeah. And all the messages were, weren't they? Whether it was the gentleness of love or the healing capacity of love. Or, or Joan of Arc, Joan who came Arc. through this who one. I saw in the power in the of love. Fiercest, fiercest, wasn't it? I fiercest know, love. Said to you. I don't speak like that, right? It was just, I could feel my, my mouth going, oh. Well, <laughs> love is power. I was like, what the, where, where did that voice come? I'll <laughs> read it for you. Oh, she, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, maybe we should show that. It's amazing. Um, it's really, have a little snip might of keep, that. keep a little snippet because, yeah. I mean, you know, you, like I always say, channeling, it's it's not like transmediumship where something takes over you. You are present for it. You, yeah. you might not remember what you've said, but you're very aware that it's like a... And uh, it's an interface, I call it, an interface or an integration. You're working with the energy of that that guide because they're coming in on a, a higher light vibration. Yeah. So it's not three. Uh, it's not a, a fourth dimensional spirit guide. So it's not as dense. It's very much a transcendent mm. love, angelic or celestial mm. or star guide when mm. we're channeling. So it, it's almost like a merging of, of light bodies comes together, isn't it? Yeah. And, yeah. you know, you describing sticking your finger in a power socket, I always say it, it makes you feel really uplifted and yeah. rejuvenated yeah. afterwards. Yeah. You can tell it's a positive energy afterwards. Yeah. Uh, but I guess you're kind of channeling when you're doing those facials yeah. anyway, aren't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Because yeah. you don't know where the information is coming yeah. from, but it's whatever yeah. that person needs. Yeah. And I go straight up. Inspiration. Straight up. Right to the top. Inspiring inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's your higher it's self great. coming through, yeah. isn't it? It's, it's, sure your, it is. it's your divine guidance. And, yeah. you know, you and just... then you're going to be making a few changes at Inspiral as well? Because it's been a weekly thing up to now, hasn't it? No, it's Mo been monthly. monthly. Oh, sorry, monthly. It's been monthly. monthly. Yeah. Um, but we are making some changes. Yeah. We're not quite sure at the moment whether we're going to do quarterly or... I've, I've been asked, actually... Um, to do a retreat in oh, Greece. No. Do you want to come to Greece? Oh, yeah. No, we'll be in. Really lovely place. In Awake Crete. ones in Greece. Yes, Alexandra Wenman show in Greece. Yeah, come along. It's going to be fun. <laughs> Amazing. Um, a really, really beautiful location as well. Oh, imagine taking people out and there and doing those lovely facials. Work yeah. And Indian cooking. <gasps> Nice. Um, yeah, so it's all about healing, wow. healing wow. through wow. all three, because often, you know, you get people who are focusing just yeah. on their bodies. Yes. Mm. Oh, I've got to get fit, I've got to get fit, yeah. I've got to get fit. They get really, really fit, but then they're still not happy. Yeah, mm. emotionally, yeah. Um, but when you look at mm. the mind, the body and the spirit, yeah. the soul, and you work on all of those, Mm. Um, that's when it comes together, and that's yeah. what we're looking at at the retreat. Beautiful. So we're looking at the nutrition. Yeah. Um, we're looking at soul work. Yeah. And healing. And it's, just, it's um, and the so body with the yoga. Yeah. Oh, it's got to, it's got to be all the levels, isn't yeah. it? You can't yeah, you miss out one bit, then you just yeah. fall back into yes. the old bad habits yeah. again. Yeah. 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 So I think when you target so all three. Yeah. You identify absolutely, exactly. and that's what's been coming through in my channeling. Yeah. So people are lying there, and I'm, my hands, hands are doing are... my hands are doing this. Wow. So the whole facial, they end up doing this, and then now I'm I'm getting wands, different ones in my right. hands. I'm doing 
the infinity was coming through, the eight was coming through, the triangles were coming through. Wow. That it's like yeah. something takes yeah. over my hands and it's just whoo, okay. It's high this. frequency healing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just doing that. It was like my third eye was going. Yeah, it's wow. Amazing. I love it. You've got one. Yeah, yeah I want one. Sign us up. <laughs> I want one. We have to do a swap. We have to stop the camera now now. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to realise we've run out now. We've run out of film. It takes about two hours. <laughs> yeah, two hours. Yeah, she's got to drive me back to London. Yeah. Laurie will be like, my lorry driver will be yeah. like, mm -hmm. we may have to do that next time. <laughs> but we can. But we have to do it only for the benefit of the awake ones. It's research, viewers, mm -hmm. for research. Or, of course, we can, we can yeah. share with you yeah. what it's really like. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we can just come on your retreat for research purposes. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> it's funny because when I was channeling, I mean, we were just sort of chatting, weren't we? And yeah. channeling at the same time. Yeah. And and I saw, I said, she's like Joan of Arc. I said, she you described you. this. Yeah. And I'm looking across and I was thinking, I'm on a horse. She's on a chariot. Right. <laughs> and we were charging, charging to... to Battle. I wonder if it was Greece. I felt like it was Celtic or something when you were talking yeah, about it. But I c all I could see was green. There was greenery. Um, but this woman, she the, the power and the energy that she had was like Joan of Arc. Wow. Wow, yeah. who knows what you're talking about. That's so not how I see myself. And she came through myself. today. Yeah. She came through so strong. It was she, just came, she came through, as did my spirit guide. I have a new one, apparently. And... Oh, my God, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> so funny. It was probably my favourite moment with a spirit guide yet. Sorry, other spirit guides. He rocked up on a Harley, sporting a leather jacket, <laughs> long hair, look, almost looking like a hell's angel. And then he turned around and he had a big tiger. It was a, no, it was a big lion on his back. I was going to say, not like the tiger in the corner. Ah. No, no, no. It was a big lion with the words peaceful warrior on the back. <laughs> and the thing that I thought was a gun case, he started throwing hearts and... Flowers. flowers. And every, all, every, all these things oh that represented love. And then the flowers, like, literally flew off the vase. Yeah, they did. <laughs> One of the yeah. tiger yeah. lilies yeah. just I went. Just oh. about, I was just erupted. <laughs> erupted. Which is because I always need practical evidence. I always need real evidence. So, it's yeah. like, here's your evidence. I actually right. thought you were going to knock them over when you were talking about it because your hands were flailing a bit. And I was thinking, mm, those flowers are going to be on the floor in a minute. And, and they, they were. were. And they were. Not, <laughs> but there was evidence. We were being shown evidence yeah. throughout yeah. the day. Both. You know, with All the, 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 the feathers. The feather? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, the white but, feathers you know, appearing. It's not shiny. And then next to you, I've I got a, a shiny beautiful, one. beautiful, shiny feather. And uh, of course, I the gift that I was given, the, the flower that I was given from Spirit. Oh was god, yeah. The camellia rose. And then you'd pulled camel. I, yes. The camel card. Yes. Whose symbol happens to be the rose. Yeah. And it's cameo so many synchronicities. Yeah, just amazing. I just love doing this work. I, yeah. I think it's wonderful. I think yeah, I think a lot of day. people like you, honey, are going through a bit of a an evolution at the moment. Yeah. And what I'm finding as well with this kind of work, with this kind of sort of high vibration work, it's really hard because it doesn't really fit into a 3D box yeah. of yeah. like a traditional career or a traditional healing modality most of it's very multifaceted multi-dimensional and it is almost like we had someone in the group today you know it's like needing to use language that people are going to understand and quite right. frightened to move out of that yeah. logical box but often you you can't put this work into a logical box you no. can't kind of explain what it is that you do yeah. and i've always struggled with that you know it, it, it isn't like almost like what Absolutely. do i do but that's why holistic facial yeah I mean, it just covers it everything. Opens the door. I mean, I yeah. really struggled. Genius. Matt, my husband was saying, "Okay, I want to do a website for you," and that was another moment. Right. That was right. a, <sighs> because whenever I worked, it was all word of mouth. Yeah, and that's the best way. So, right? but this yeah. time, it's like now you've got to now you've promote got something. To, yeah, you've yeah. got to actually put yourself out there. Yeah. Really struggling. But with I that. said still but, struggling. But we, we talked about this earlier because I'm kind of redoing some of my stuff and I'm very similar. I don't like to be bigging me up or promoting me. I, I've never felt comfortable with it. But actually the inner freedom therapy that I've created is I've, I've kind of created the new website is created for that because it's an entity. It's a thing that has been created. Yeah. 
it needs to be put out there. So if you do the, the focus on your on the work and it's not you. Yeah. And then you, yes. you're promoting that. If you see that almost like another person yeah. or as like an entity and then on you, its own. It's easier. What and then really, you're promoting that. What really helped me actually was identifying that I wasn't putting myself out there and going, oh, this is what I can do, this is me, da da da. Because I always thought of it as ego. Yeah. I think, the, and I think the, we all do. Rather mm. than ego. It wasn't until I realised that it was the intellectual ego. Yeah. 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 That tells you it's ego. That, <laughs> that, that wasn't telling yeah. me it was ego, that was actually keeping me. Yeah from flying yeah it was like oh well you know that's really good you know good for trying mm. instead of good for flying just get out there yeah. and fly just, just do it. it oh well you tried never mind yeah. maybe maybe sometime later so you're putting it off yeah mm. well that's that's ego mm. yeah. and so i'd i was thinking i never thought that that was ego i thought that was me kind of going oh, well, you know, I mustn't put myself mm. out there because people yeah. are going to think, oh, look at her, look at, you know, mm. yep. she's saying, oh, she can do this, she can do that. But identifying yep. that keeping myself down there yep. was also yeah. ego. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And again, that was a big aha uh-huh that, That's moment. an about turn. Yeah. yeah. And it I, is the about turn, isn't it? But recognising that when you had all of the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle, yeah. Suddenly, all of the pieces make sense. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. When you're kind of waiting yeah. for that last piece to yep. drop in, even yep. though you're in it and you don't know it's the thing, and that's yeah. what we keep saying, isn't it? Yeah. That you have to trust that every single thing that you do, yeah. as long as you do that thing with all of your kind of very best intention. Yeah. Yeah. And and do it in a sort of you know a loving, gratitude, positive focused way. You yeah. then that energy mm. will move you forward. Yeah. And then all the bits will come together. And makes sense. I had an about turn kind of in the other way. Like, I was fine promoting everything else already. Like, I obviously used to run a spiritual magazine and stuff like that. I had no trouble. Yes, promote that, promote that, promote that. And then realised that when I actually came to stepping into my healing work, I was reaching for a brand name or a title or something to Mm. quantify or call what I did. I was reaching for... How am I going to package yeah. this? And then realised I can't. There's, it's like I can't explain what I do because it's so bespoke to everybody. So then yeah. I just I was looking for a website and I just went, Oh God, I'm going to have to just call it my name. So then I just called it alexandrawenman.com and then I thought, well then that fits. I've got precious wisdom. I've yeah, got my channeling. Like, yes. I've got my because yeah. I've got so many threads and it isn't just one thing. So then. I've had to get really comfortable, right, with... When I first started the YouTube channel, and it wasn't me that chose my yeah. Alexandra Wenman show title, but, again, it was like, what am I going to call it? Because, yeah. you know... So now I've got really comfortable. I've had to get really yeah. comfortable with, and you're with my good at name. Yeah. She's very good at selfies and yeah, taking pictures so when she's supposed to and doing all of that stuff. And, try, and doing it, because I think... Well, yeah, I got no, bullied, I so I got yeah. really yes. badly cyberbullied, and I had to overcome that. I had to overcome care, like I had to stop caring what people thought of me and it's like, you know what, I'm just going to celebrate what yeah. I do because it helps a lot of people and it's not me anyway, it's coming yeah. through me. But in many ways it is us, it's our essence that we're bringing to the world and that essence is not just one thread or one box or one title or one label, it's us. Yeah. So I yeah. think, well, you know what, that thread is like mm. I, the rays of the sun, I am like, I've got all these different things. But I'm the sun, baby. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I have to say, that in balance of it, what I've decided to do is to create one website that is going to be for the work and then another one that will be me. And as I start to celebrate mm. more about me and who I am and all of these things, then all of that will be loaded into that then one. Then you can yeah. migrate it over yeah. when you're comfortable. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. yeah. I, think I, really I might keep the way. two running. I might keep the yeah. two running because otherwise it's a lot of information. Yeah, and there's yeah. no right, or, with it. right yeah. or wrong exactly. way of doing it, is there? It's go with what... Go with what you're comfortable with and yeah. what because however you're getting yourself and your work and your essence out, out there, there yeah. you're doing it. Yeah. And that takes a lot of courage. It really does in this world. This world that where people are, you know, taught to be competitive with each other and to shut each other down, especially amongst women and, and spiritual yes. people. Yes. It's quite dog eat dog. Yeah. You know, so to be out there walking your talk, it's not a 
it's not a light, fluffy, silly little thing. It's a very brave, courageous Joan of Arc type Absolutely. thing to be like out there walking your <laughs> yeah. talk. So. Yeah. So yeah. that's the best Amazing. about turn. We love it. Yeah. yeah. I know for ages you've been trying to yeah. find that thing. Well, we came up with a name. I came up with the name Soulfulness Therapies. Right, brilliant. But that was because three years ago when we took over yeah. in Spiral, you know, on the emails it was Love and Light. And that kind of stuck here. And I was thinking, mm. I don't want to write Love and Light. Yeah. And we actually talked about that yeah. today, didn't yeah. we, in the workshop. And I was thinking something had come up and I thought, hmm. Okay, I, I really thought about being kind. Yeah. Um, and there was a lot of stuff coming up about kindness. And I thought, actually, you have to be mindful yeah. to be kind. Mm. Because with some, it's not inherent in yeah, them. Absolutely. Mm. But if you start practicing kindness yeah. and you're mindful of that, mm. then it just flows. Mm. And uh, so I always signed off love and kindfulness. Which is and so if you look at the Inspire website for yeah. many years now, it's been love and kindfulness mm -hmm. as you enter into the, the website. And so soulfulness just sort of right. came from that really. Yeah. Uh, Lovely. And I thought, yeah, you fill your soul yeah. you know, with yeah. the good stuff. Oh, Wonderful. With the love and... Yeah, top me up, baby. Top me up. Come along. We're so delirious today. I love it. And, and, like, and on that note, otherwise we will be in trouble for overrunning our yeah. time. Yeah. Sally will be keeping tabs. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be watching. But yeah. But so, so Krisha, tell our viewers mm. how can they get hold of you? What is your website? Okay, my my website is www.soulfulnesstherapies.co.uk. And then the group that we run in Cambridge is www.inspiralgroup.co.uk. Fantastic. Amazing. And we will have all of the information underneath, underneath. the new way. And, you know, I've just got to say, Inspiral is such an amazing, amazing group. And Krija and Matt are just the most beautiful people. Yeah. Like, seriously, it's like soul, you are like soul fam. Soul fam. Oh, group hug, group hug. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're very grateful. So grateful to for you for hosting today and for talking to us today. And thank we, you also thank for you. all of you for watching and for supporting us. And you know, we just we we're creating a community here. So you know, I know it's an online community, but we hope to have more events and things coming up soon as well through Awake Ones and. Um, and the Alexandra Wenman show so please 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 subscribe if you enjoy the show let us know we'd love to hear your feedback and uh, any ideas for topics to cover we'd love to hear from you you can find us on Instagram and Facebook and everywhere you know just search Awake Ones so thank you so much thank Krisha, you. and thank you for watching thank you, for watching. Thank you. Hello and welcome to the Alexandra Wenman Show. Hello and welcome to Awake Ones. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to do that one again. And I got lippy all over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>